Hello friends. In the previous video, we introduced LaTeX to you all. We also learned how to set up LaTeX both offline and online. In the current and the next episodes, we will be using the online LaTeX processor called Share LaTeX. For those of you who haven't seen the first video, please find the link in the description below. It will guide you to set up your Share LaTeX account and write the first code. In this video, we will take a look at chapters, sections, paragraphs and so on. Before that, let us clear the lines from title hello world to make title. The format to add these details will be covered in future. Change the document type from article to report. Now, the first thing to do is to set up the page. It is done using the geometry package. The following lines of code from slash use package geometry to top equal to 30 mm will help one set up a page depending upon the requirement. As it can be seen, this code is inserted before slash begin document. These lines of code tell the compiler that the output must be on a A4 size page. The left and the top margins of 30 mm should be left before rendering the page. The total width of the main body on the page will be 160 mm and height is restricted to 245 mm using the above lines. Let us now add a chapter title introduction to LaTeX. To add a chapter, the syntax is slash chapter followed by the name of the chapter and closed in the parenthesis. So writing slash chapter introduction to LaTeX will add a chapter in the final output. Similarly, multiple chapters can be added with different content in them. Let's create another chapter called Advantages of LaTeX. After inserting the proper syntax, we can see the new chapter is generated on a new page. One has to keep in mind that slash chapter is only available in report and book document classes. Similar to chapters, one can create sections, subsections, sub subsections, paragraphs and sub paragraphs. Let us check them out one by one. The syntax are slash section slash subsection slash sub subsection slash paragraph Let us add some dummy text after each of these and compile the code. On compiling we can understand the difference between each of these statements looking at the output. They also get numbered according to their levels and the same gets reflected in the index when the index is generated. However, sometimes it is required to suppress the numbers for sections. To get an unnumbered chapter or section, add an asterisk before the opening of curly bracket. These will not go into the table of contents. If you have observed, the editor window in your account is slightly different than the one in the video. You can change the theme and font size using the menu button of the web page. Click on the menu button in the theme selection drop down bar. Select the theme you feel comfortable working with. Similarly, you can change the font size. That's it for this video. In the next video, we will explore LaTeX a bit more. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss the new video from Practical Ninjas. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and share it with your friends. Stay calm and keep learning. Until next time, peace out.